Hi, my name is Carolina Mariposa, and I am the founder of Butterfly Grove, where I support highly sensitive children, teens, and parents in feeling more grounded, joyful, creative, and empowered. Today's video talks about my top three favorite physical exercises for reducing stress. And when I say physical exercises, they're really more techniques. They're very gentle, very simple exercises that I have found especially helpful in calming any stress response I might be feeling. And these are things that I teach my clients as well as my loved ones. And I'm excited to share them with you today. I encourage you to practice them with some self-awareness and if you experience any discomfort at any time, stop because the intention of these exercises is to promote relaxation and reduce stress. And I'm going to show you the three exercises in a minute, but I first want to talk a little more about why this is helpful. When I went through my therapist training, there is a lot of focus when you become a therapist on cognitive strategies or uh, strategies that use your mind to cope. So you might be trying to change your thoughts from quote negative to more positive thoughts. You might actually be talking to yourself in a way that's soothing or affirming. Some people talk about mantras or affirmations. And if you're in the middle of a stress response, those can sometimes be helpful. But what I found is that when the body is really overloaded and overwhelmed, it's hard to get the thinking brain online to practice strategies like that. And a lot of people feel for that reason like they don't work. My belief is that they do work, but that your body has to be a little calmer and more receptive before they can actually be a benefit. And that's why I wanted to share these with you today because I think both types of strategies are helpful. And I'm going to lead you through these exercises and um, they may feel a little silly and I encourage you to go with that, embrace the silliness uh, because the key is that we wanna feel better and sometimes we might look a little silly when we're trying to do that. These exercises can be used for anyone of any age uh, as long as they're able to mimic your behavior. So a really young infant might not be able to do it, but I have taught kids as young as two to do this. And of course, adults are capable and everyone in between. So uh, I encourage you if you're a parent watching this to uh, practice these yourself as well as teach your kids because what I find is, especially if my daughter, for example, who's three, is having a big emotion, it takes me a lot of inner work to stay calm and present and not sort of get wrapped up in her emotions. So I will often just practice these with her. I'll say, oh, we're having some big feelings, so let's practice our calming down exercises together. And sometimes she won't right away, but if she sees me doing it, then she's more willing to do it. So that's just a, a tip for the parents out there when you're practicing these. So exercise number one uh, is an exercise that I found on uh, Suki Baxter's channel. And Suki Baxter is on YouTube and uh, has a channel that focuses on uh, the calming the nervous system with different types of exercises and techniques. And what I love about Suki is that it's very simple, all of her exercises. So I encourage you to check out her YouTube channel, but I'm gonna show you the one that I use the most and find the most impact from. And that is a type of ear massage. And it may feel a little bit silly when you do it, but I encourage you to give it a try because I've been amazed at how well this works. And essentially what you do is you take a finger, uh, index finger is good, and you're not going to stick your finger in your ear canal here. You're gonna follow the curve of your ear, and if you loop around above your ear canal, there's a little hollow right there. Hope you can get a sense of that from the video. Suki has a, a whole video where she does a close-up of her ear, <laughs> so I encourage you if you're really having trouble seeing mine that you, you check out hers. But the idea is basically put your finger in this hollow 
and without pressing very hard, you just start rotating your finger. And what this does is it stimulates a nerve that is in charge of your stress response called the vagus nerve. And if you're curious about the vagus nerve or polyvagal theory, which is where some of these exercises come from, I encourage you to do more research on that. By no means an expert, but uh, I've done a little reading about it. And my understanding is that when you are rotating your finger in this spot, it is directly stimulating the upper part of your vagus nerve. It starts uh, in your cranium, so in your head, and it goes down through your ear and your neck and kind of wanders through your torso. And you may notice as you're rotating your finger that your body starts to relax. It's amazing to me, like I said, that this works because it's so simple. If you're not feeling any benefit or any relaxation, you can switch the direction that you're moving your finger. And generally, you can do this for a set amount of time, like 30 seconds, 60 seconds, or you can do it until you actually do have a stress relief response. So you might notice your body physically relaxing, your breathing slowing down, your heartbeat slowing down. One of my uh, signs that it's working usually on me is a yawn. And since I'm making this video, I'm probably not gonna quite get to that relaxed state. But notice if you uh, start yawning, I'm gonna now do it on the other side. And uh, another thing that I've read about uh, that can, you might notice as a relaxation response is uh, more saliva in your mouth. So, are you doing this with me? How's it feeling? I'm already noticing a big difference. Like I said, I'm not quite getting to the yawn since I'm on camera. Oh, I might get, oh, almost had one there. But hopefully you get the idea. That's exercise number one. And take a minute, even if you've just done that and not felt any really obvious response, notice the sensations in your body when you're finished and if you feel any different. I know for me, I notice more kind of circulation around my ear and my neck feels a little looser, my jaw feels a little looser. So that's a nice one. All right, exercise number two. In my house, we call this pet the kitty. <laughs> and this one is uh, one that I learned uh, in a video from Marissa Granville, who does uh, Yochi. It's a combination of yoga and Qigong. I encourage you also to check out her YouTube channel. Uh, but this one, she even calls it pet the kitty. You're petting yourself like a kitty cat. You are stroking your neck, just like a kitty might do. And she does this down the middle in her videos. Uh, she also, I saw a recent video where she did it on the side as well, and I like that so much better. I feel like it's easier on my neck to bend to the side rather than to arch my neck backwards. And the idea is you're just gently stroking your neck and that this is inducing a relaxation response again because your vagus nerve runs right through this area. So you're just giving yourself a little massage right on your vagus nerve. And you can switch sides. Oh, I'm already feeling so relaxed. And again, if you're a parent, uh, we sometimes add in sound effects at my house. Meow, meow, petting the kitty. We meow a little bit or we pretend we're purring. <laughs> Once we're a little calmer, it, it makes it a little more fun to add the sound effects. But sometimes if I'm really trying to engage my daughter in this technique, I will just start meowing. Works every time. 
Something about those kitties. They're very uh, attractive to three-year-olds. <laughs> okay, so I think you get the idea of that one. Take a minute again to notice. And just a variation on this one that I've seen also is just holding, just holding your neck. So if you don't wanna do the stroking, you can just hold your neck or hold, I've seen it where you, you get your uh, sort of scissor fingers around your ear and just hold, hold that way. And that's nice if you're gonna practice some deep breathing. It's kind of easier to breathe when you're not moving your hands around. And I will say a note on some deep breathing while we're on that topic. And that is uh, that I do have a full body breathing video and I do find breathing one of the most effective ways for us to soothe a stress response in our bodies. But some people don't like practicing breathing, especially kids who are in a really activated state who might be just yelling or defiant. They're not going to breathe, and so uh, sometimes using your hands is a better way. But if you haven't checked out my full body breathing video, I encourage you to do that. And now we'll do the last exercise. So this one, kind of similar idea, but you're going to put your hands here instead of here. And you're just going to gently stroke down. And this is another one that um, I've seen Marissa do on Yochi, although she does it with putting her hands together and stroking like that. Uh, I like this better, and I actually don't remember where I learned this. I learned it so many years ago. I, I took some bodywork training, and I believe that's where I learned it. But then I also had a colleague once who used to do this in the office when she was upset and sort of say soothing things to herself like it's okay it's okay and i just thought that was awesome that she would do that when she got stressed out good example good role modeling so i will also say that a variation on this one is you can bring it all the way down to your stomach if you want to and my daughter, uh, sorry, I can't see my stomach, but my daughter uh, actually prefers to do it on her stomach rather than up on her chest. And so either is uh, effective. And, and again, it just feels, even if it doesn't have anything to do with the vagus nerve, it just feels like a soothing movement, I feel like, to, to do this. And sometimes I'll even pat myself there, like my, my colleague did, it's okay, it's okay. The idea that you're just kind of holding yourself in a stressful time and offering soothing to your sensitive body. And this is another good place to breathe if you're into practicing deep breathing, breathing into your belly while you hold your, your chest. So, how do you feel? Were those helpful to you? I sure hope so. Uh, we don't have comments enabled on this channel because most of the videos are geared towards kids and adults. And if your video is marked for kids, then they disable comments. But I encourage you to click the like button if you like this, subscribe so you get future videos. And also, if you ever want to email me, my contact information is below. And I love to hear from you if there are specific topics you'd like me to speak on or exercises you'd like me to do. And uh, I hope this makes you feel more relaxed and joyful today. And I wish you a very peaceful, calm day or evening, depending on where you are when you're watching this. Thanks so much for watching.